A series of exhibits at the Arizona State Museum are dedicated to the cultural history of Mexico. And the current exhibit highlights the art of a former bullfighter and Tucson immigrant. Well, th this exhibit is called uh, Salvador Corona, Matador to Muralist. This is the second of three exhibits uh, about Mexico that celebrate the um, revolution and the War of Independence, the, the bicentennial of independence and the centennial of the, of, um, the revolution. Salvador Corona was born in Chihuahua uh, in 1895, and he was the son of a fairly prosperous uh, individual who uh, had a ranch down in Chihuahua where they raised fighting bulls. And his father wanted him to be, have a profession, and so he was sent to Mexico City and uh, studied accounting, but it just, uh, his passion was to be a bullfighter, and so he basically told his father, I'm gonna be a, a bullfighter, and so he studied with some of the, the best bullfighters and had a, a pretty marvelous career but that was cut short when he was gored by a bull. And so uh, it had been suggested to him by one of his friends that he study painting. So he absorbed a lot of uh, folk traditions of, of Mexico. And then he created, he created this style where he would paint on the bulls or the carved wooden bateas. Uh, he painted on boxes, he painted on canvas. Uh, around the early, you no, know, the late 1930s, 1939, the Mexican government invited him to, to New York, to the World's Fair, to represent, be one of the artists representing them. And he also had a set of furniture that was um, uh, intended for President Roosevelt. And so, so Franklin Roosevelt's uh, collection included a whole uh, furniture set from Corona. The great thing that uh, happened, of course, when he came to Tucson, um, is that Tucson got into his, his radar and we have uh, a number of just incredibly wonderful uh, renditions of San Javier del Bac to Macaquery Mission. Still, he was, he was not you know, showing pictures of, or painting pictures for the most part of daily scenes in Tucson. He was looking at the Spanish colonial presence here in Tucson. And in terms of the celebration, we just want to acknowledge that, that Tucson has a very, very long history, the, the area where Tucson is now, that then Tucson was part of Spain, and then Tucson was part of Mexico, and then Tucson was part of the territory of New Mexico. We just want that uh, understanding of where we are in our border uh, location right now and, and how the, the waves of history have, have uh, moved over here and, and made us who we are today.